welcome to another episode of Driving with Ty. Um, today, I wanted to talk about this uh, the free listings that you get from eBay and how to, I, I don't really want to say exploit, but how to use it properly. Because honestly, I think you, I forget how many items you can list. It's like a thousand or it's, it's some huge number that you can just list things and it's all free. And um, the, the thing that we're starting to run into, um, we're, we're having anywhere from like 50 to 100 items being listed at any, any given time. And uh, you talked about this a little bit earlier, um, and that's in a different video, where uh, you were saying like, um, you didn't realize that we should just put stuff up. And yeah. reality is that like you have a, a virtual store and it's just like going into a store and the shelves are empty. Like right, people right. aren't gonna buy anything. Right. So <laughs> the idea is to actually take you know what you have in your like in your supply closet in the back and put it out on the shelves and that's what we that's what we've been doing more of and you know it's really not hard to kind of um get through like posting listings i think um you know it was you and i one weekend around like fourth of july and we, we yeah. cranked out like i think like 40 40 listings in a day you know and it was throughout the day it wasn't like this was the only thing we right, were doing right. and we take breaks. yeah and the, the cool thing about it is um it's the fact that you normally get five to twenty-one day listings, and um, we're still playing around with like how long we should list an item for. But when you're doing like that, when it's like during the free listing period, all bets are off, you know, because you're playing with house money. You don't have to pay for those listings, right. um, and it's really the auction style listings, and you can even have a, a buy it now price on it. And uh, I think when you have that scenario, um, um, you may want to just have like everything lined up where like if you have things that you've been sitting on for a while and you haven't been able to get back to them because you're focusing on the, the high value item, because this is what we do. We get a lot of like um, items that we're going to make five to $10 on. But what we try to focus on is getting the items that we know will be worth more like, you know, the the twenty dollar items, or the fifty dollar items, or even the thirty dollar items, right. and that's what we focus on first. Like, go go through the most important stuff first, and then when you are kind of through your most important stuff or your most valuable stuff, then you drop down to the next tier. And it's been working out pretty well for us because one, we don't get overwhelmed, and you know, we don't have like um, a huge inventory problem right now where we just have too much stuff that we don't have enough, you know, space, and we're, yeah, we're moving stuff yet. consistently. So we we get yeah, not yet, but uh, we. We kind of have our, our tiers set up, which is super cool. But you know, when you have this, uh, when you have free listings in eBay, uh, you can actually take your old listings and just copy and paste a lot of information. You know, you still have your pictures and all that stuff. And I would say to relist something after it has already already ended is really not that hard. And you got the item sitting around. You know, you got the inventory. You just want to try to move it. And I would say. It's a really, really great opportunity to do that. Um, and I think a lot of times, um, if it's within 60 days, you can just relist the item and right. super easy. And because of that, you know, you get that item will be visible from anywhere to uh, 15 to uh, 21 days. And why do I say this? When you're creating a listing and you're reviewing the listing, they have this little box to say like, hey, would you like to relist this item? And you get up to three listings for free. Yeah. So, what I do is I always check that box. So now I have this item exposure for up to you know 15 times. And the reason why I found that sometimes people will watch an auction for the first segment and then they buy the second or third time. So that's one tool that you should be using. And honestly, if you're doing like either a, a buy it now a fixed price, like an auction with a buy it now price or a fixed price auction, you should just go in and do it because you know, uh, more people get a chance to see it. And even when you do pay for the listing, because I think it's like, you know, for us now, for certain listings, it's like 20 cents, right. but normally it's 30 cents. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely worth it because you're, you're giving more people uh, a chance to see it. And also you gotta realize that it's really the ebbs and flow of kind of like the demand that you really aren't seeing. You put up an item in, you know, Yesterday it may have been five of them sold and you may be able to search through that But you really don't know like what people are searching for right now. I mean, well, I'm sorry in the past So you really you know 
you, you may be able to look at like what happened like two months ago, but from a seasonal standpoint, you can't go that far back. And that's the reason why like you really should try to take advantage of like the free listings because you just have, you know, tons of opportunities there. So, <laughs> so uh, this has been another episode of Driving with Ty. Uh, still thinking of the name of this series. But thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, reply, uh, send a video response, um, like the video, please. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel. Um, and that's it. Thanks.